Hi Isaac, I'm Ross. I uh, hope I can help you with this rectangle perimeter area problem. These are super common and it, they can be tricky because it doesn't really give you all the information you think you probably need, right? So let's review really quickly the formulas that are gonna be involved. They're asking about the area of a rectangle, which is length times width. Uh, and then they're also talking about the perimeter of a rectangle, which is two times the length plus two times the width. Really all that means is we're taking all four sides of the triangle and adding them together. We need two of the lengths, two of the widths, or vice versa. And that's just one way to write it, uh, 2L plus 2W. Now, we don't know how long either the length or the width are or what their measures are, but we do know that the length of the rectangle is five feet longer than the width. So what we're actually gonna do is write a third equation of our own to help us out using that relationship. So we're still gonna call length L and width W, and we're gonna say in, equa in an equation, we're gonna say the length, which is L, is equal to five feet longer than the width. So how could we write that? Well, if the width is W, how would we write five feet longer than W? Well, to get five more feet, we would add or put plus five. So that's an expression that would give us the length. The length is equal to whatever the width is, plus five. Now that still doesn't tell us what the length of our rectangle is, because we don't know what the width is, but here's why that's helpful. Now we can take this expression and substitute it in to our perimeter equation. And why we can do that is because we know, again, L, we just said, is equal to W plus five. So we can replace this L with W plus five. We also know that the perimeter is 50, which we can put right here for P. So let's do both of those things and see why it's helpful. If I put 50 where P was, 50 equals, and then two times, keep in mind we need parentheses because we want to multiply by this whole thing, W plus five, not just W. So in parentheses, W plus five equals, or not equals, plus two W. So let's pause and see why that's important. We went from having an equation up here with three different variables, P, L, and W, to having an equation that just has one in it, just W. There's two of them, but it's just one letter. And that means that we can solve for that W. We have a way to figure out one of our measurements. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, to solve for W here, first I'm gonna distribute this two into the parentheses, multiply by the W and the five. So I'll have 50 equals two times W is just two W, plus two times five is 10, and then plus another two W. So now we need to combine the like terms, the two uh, terms with W's in them. So that'll be 50 equals four W, plus 10, and then just a couple more steps. We need to subtract 10 on both sides as we're trying to get the W term by itself. That'll be 40 equals 4W, and then we need to divide by four. So all of that tells us that W, the width, is equal to 10. So that tells us at least one of our measurements, right? We now know that the width is 10, but they're asking us for the area and we know that to find that, we need to know the length also. Well, luckily we already gave ourselves a way to find the length. We said that it was gonna be the width plus five, W plus five. Well, just so happens that now we know the width, we know that it's 10. So our length is just gonna be 10 plus five, which is 15, pretty simple. So finally, if we want the area as our final answer, go back and plug into this top formula. The area is gonna be length times width or 15 times 10, which is 150. And don't forget your units, which I did. Your width would be in feet. Your length would also be in feet. And that means that your area would be feet squared. So Isaac, I hope that helps. Uh, I hope that makes sense and helps you to do some similar problems in the future.